Hello, my name is Heather Lees and I'm from Mushahidi. And I'm Nora Hudson from Frontline SMS. And we want to welcome you to our joint Frontline SMS and Ushahidi event taking place on the same day, November the 7th, 2011, in London, UK, where we are filming today, and Nairobi, Kenya. We have 122 people signed up in London, UK, and 50 in Nairobi, Kenya. We're looking forward to talking about our, our tools and how we can enjoy working together. Yep, absolutely. It's very grey and rainy and cold in London. I hope the weather's better in Nairobi. I'm sure it is. So maybe we start with um, you saying a little bit about what Ushahidi is and what it does? Sure. So Ushahidi is data visualization tool. It's interactive mapping and information collection. Basically answering two questions. What do you see? What do you need? Uh, you can use multiple communication input channels in order to do that, whether it be email or SMS or mobile app or the web form. And all of this information can be then registered and put onto the map to be able to tell that story. And it's been used for election monitoring, for crisis response, emergency response, community capacity building, and fun things like arts events and burger maps and weirdo stuff that you never know what people are going to map to be able to share stories with each other. Great. And so Frontline SMS, for, for those who don't know, um, is also open source software. And it turns a, a laptop or a computer uh, attached to a mobile phone or to an SMS aggregation service on the internet into a two-way communications hub that basically processes SMS a bit like email, um, but also um, can sort of collect it a little bit and then export it into, um, so that you can look at these SMS in, say, um, Excel or Access. So you can look at it in a database, makes it instantly digitized data. Um, so it's been used to communicate with, say, volunteers in the field or to collect information from people that you can't usually communicate with easily, like um, aid recipients, say, um, or also, you know, to collect reports. And because it's easy to then process that and give it to another application like Ushahidi, um, you can use SMS to collect reports, and that's what we want to talk about today. So um, maybe it'd be great to hear a little bit about what's next for Ushini, what you up to in the next year or so. Um, so we have a number of projects on the go in terms of building out our community and trying to get people to work together and mentor together. So Ushini is used for mainly for election monitoring, community, community building, capacity building, crisis response. What we'd like to do is work with more of our communities to have them share best practices. Uh, talk about how to do more research, share their data sets, and also try and find ways to to make it possible to collaborate with other open source products and tools out there to make it easy for people to be able to uh, share via mobile phones, but also use online platforms and find other communication channels and pull them all together, including video. Great. And um, so we've put in the audience in Nairobi, you have some of our developers, and you also have Sharon from Frontline SMS Credit, who's going to talk a bit more about Frontline SMS in those specifics. But I mean, this is going to be a really exciting year for us next year. We're working as well on, on trying to make the platform more easy to extend, more powerful, easier to use, mm -hmm. and it's just easier to, to use as a sort of collaborative tool with, with other platforms like, like Ushahidi. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. We've got a growing team. We've now got um, sort of 15 people across the world in the US, in the UK, and in Africa. And Africa, the, the Nairobi team is actually the biggest collection of people that we have. And I'm quite by surprise, we suddenly counted up on our hands and discovered that there were more of you over there than there are of us over here, which is very exciting. So yeah, I mean, one of the things that I reflect on a bit is that um, there are lots of tools in this space now, sort of using technology for I don't know, social change. And you just don't see enough platforms making the extra effort to make sure that their platforms integrate well. Mm -hmm. So it's really great to run an event like this with Ushahidi, I think, um, so that we can sort of help people, sort of be in the same room to help people think through how they can use both tools together. And I think it's really important that both of us really feel strongly about our global community. Ushahidi, mm -hmm. has a, quite, as well, has a lot of employees in there, Ruby, hello folks, and, and around the world. And because people use both of our softwares around the world to be able to tell their story and to be able to build their projects, it's really exciting to think about what API work we need to do, what yeah. documentation we need to do. How can we find ways to make it possible for people to do it so that you can do the good work that you do every day? Mm -hmm. And it'd be great to hear from you guys, like, what else should we be doing? Yeah. Like, you know, if there's feedback from the audience, what else do we need to build and create and pull together to, to help people? Yeah. Thanks. So have a really good event, guys. We wish we were there and, and not being rained on here in London, but we're excited about our event here too. And I um, look forward to seeing something all pulled together, both events together on the web very soon. And launch new code today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs>